Hey everybody, this is another video from my live stream I had last Saturday. During that live stream, I went up against a few Skellica players, a rare beast indeed these days, and I feel really sorry because I was playing Nilfgaard at the time, and Nilfgaard completely demolishes it. I, I would consider there are certain Nilfgaard decks that just auto causes Skellica to auto lose. And this video kind of showcases just how easy it is to body Skellica with Nilfgaard. So, cheers and enjoy the video. I am known to have. Patience is not a virtue. Nope. <laughs> I liked Amir when I first saw him. Immediately. Yeah. Sapa gets uh, that. Well, then, that's good. Uh, we want to have our Vico Gara medics. I didn't. I couldn't. If there was not really any other things to do, so we're probably gonna start. Uh, we won the coin toss, which is great. Probably going to fake Siri, Manganel. Oh no, well, Manganel, this. Say fake Siri for later. We don't want our opponent reviving you fake Siri. The wrong sorceress. I was about, and I s discarded the Dimeridium Shackles. I'm so dumb. Hmm. No one can hide from me. We don't want that card, so... The bottom. Emissary is better. What do you need me to do? Oh, I should have um, done this first. Eh, I can use Albrook. Get it. For Brad! Oh, I sense trouble. One Siri, two Siri, three Siri, four. Come on. I can do this all day. Bow before Nilfgaard's rightful Siri. empress. We're gonna use Amir next. And I wonder why I didn't play Siri earlier. I was worried about whether or not he would revive it and use it against me. Then I'm like, that's dumb. If he revives and uses it against me, then I can keep this up all day, my friend. Let's preserve the cards in the hand. For traitors. We don't need value from the Mangonels. He can't revive anything because nothing's dead. Okay, and then we take that. Which was actually a smart move on his part. We are going to treason this. He can't revive the base here yet. Eh. I know treasons might be overkill in this case, but it's fine. We don't have card dis too much card disadvantage going into the last round, and we can start stealing his units. Three uh, dash. Okay, now well, it's time to start reviving. Okay, and uh, I'm going to push out the Mangonel because it's the most the useless card in our hand. You've talked enough. It's probably going to pull out a priestess. Come to get ya. Okay. 
We want to thin our My opponent's graveyard of a bit important of blood cards letting. like this. For Brad! Take that out. Kill, maim, destroy! For Brad! Okay. If he wounds any of those cards, we can use Geralt Igni on them. You best yield now! He's gonna go Chironex, which will allow us to Geralt Igni that row. Okay. Not your lucky day. Now they're gone. I'm gonna force as many cards out of my opponent as possible. Modern Freyr is patient, but she brooks no insult. My prescription, a bit of bloodletting. Because he's a wound deck, every time he wounds something, it's gonna benefit my guys as well. Your humble servant. Please wait, Your Excellency. I'm falling behind. Notice! All roads lead to Nilfgaard! Not your lucky day. Oh, that was unfortunate. I didn't think about that. Your humble servant. Order will triumph. It must triumph. He can't pass now. Can't pass. Uh, my opponent still has 12 cards in their deck. They didn't thin very much. We serve her who is virgin, mother, and crone. Okay. Well, then we're going to force out that renew. I live to serve. Oh, he, he has to play. He has to play. He has nothing. He, he can't revive anything. There's nothing in the graveyard. <laughs> I've removed all of it. For Heimdall! <laughs> oh, now he'll have something. Uh, he'll have... Let's see what's in his graveyard now. He has nothing in his graveyard. You can't... Uh, you discarded uh, Zigfrida, I guess. It was a permadeath, maybe? Praise be to the great sun! It'll be very hard for our opponent to get ahead of this. Uh, not you again! Well, you have to understand that this is buffing my side of the board, too. Because I have his uh, units. Uh, good. 15 or you can give me a upvote. You can give me a good game yet. Run the uh, table and let's drink. Onward, sons of Nilfgaard. <laughs> okay, we're up against the King Brand, which is the extremely weak to Leto. Like, ridiculously weak. Um, we're not going to need the shrooms, and we're not going to need the manticore venom, and we're not going to need the ambassador. We're going to bait out control with Discipline. the that is what you Emperor Brigade, and then we're going to... Okay, he's... What? He's like, did you get anything? Yeah, I did. I'm like, I didn't see the effect. You blind, greedy fool. Mead! Or mead! <laughs> so, I think I'm up against a Queensguard deck. Let's see. Yeah, Queensguard deck. So we're going to be deleting stuff with uh, Letho when we get the chance. Please wait, Your Excellency. I'm falling behind. Nice, Ted up to... Okay. Ugh. Gods protect us. He's discarding a lot, which is actually ideal. 
Our opponent cannot pass, or else they will lose. Ted up to Glory to you. He's gonna buff the stuff, which is gonna make it really good for our uh, Letho. Now we're gonna keep Please you wait digging on deck for stuff. I'm falling behind. We're gonna pull out an emissary. Your humble servant. We're gonna pull out our emperor brigade. Discipline. We're thinning our deck so that our Cantarellas get more value. Pansy. Okay. <laughs> That's perfectly fine. We do not have the uh, cards that we need to uh, push out this round. So we're going to just play Cantarellas see. now. No. We're digging for a very specific cards. Damaroom Shackles is one of them. Billion barrels of burning pitch. This is all ideal. The more buffs he puts on there, the better. I should be your eyes, my lord. We'll take this card. Out with the crowns. Come on, quick now. Okay. We're gonna now start buffing. Um, Barbarians. Holding cards in. Our opponent cannot pass anymore. I, uh, I expect a coral. Yeah. Corals. There's a big me. I don't expect. Uh, I don't Barbarians. expect. Uh, what do you call it? We serve her who is virgin, mother, and crone. Okay. It's time to pull everything. I forgive you. This time. Let's see if our opponent continues. Modern Freyr is patient, but she brooks no insult. Okay. I'm sorry to tell you, sir, but you've lost. Go. Vanished. Forever. You didn't level and Kelpie? Uh, because I had treason in my hand. So I already had the extra um, pull that I needed. I was, uh, I was saving Letho for if my opponent passed early. Yeah. My opponent didn't pass early, so he's crushed. My game is now froze. <laughs> because, you know, Gwen. Uh, just a moment. I'm gonna reopen the game. I check my internet connection. Okay, good. Still have internet. Yeah. I had my reasonings. Oh, yes, yes. Uh, I was hoping somebody would ask me questions. So, CD Projekt Red has just released all those friend passes, and they're about to have that major tournament, the Challenger tournament. This all will coincide with... They have said that they're going to release the public beta in spring. The only last month of spring they have is... May and early June. And they also said that they would announce their public beta a month before it happens. So, at latest, we're going to see the public beta announced the second week of May. I hope it's going to be sooner than that. I think it's going to coincide with the Challenger Tournament. They're going to advertise the public beta with that. And once the public beta opens, we're going to start seeing things like discussion of single player content. We're gonna see discussions of um, new game modes. Maybe something kind of similar to uh, Hearthstone's arena mode or a brawl mode. I don't think we'll see a brawl mode anytime soon. I think that the mobile version we're not gonna hear about for a whole year. They just started hiring a mobile uh, programmer and CD Projekt Red doesn't have any experience in mobile. They're a console PC company. 
Uh, Blizzard, which is also a console PC company, is probably going to. Uh, took a, it took them a year to make a mobile, a fully mobile version of Hearthstone. 